You voted tree cannon your favorite myth. Medieval Hungarian villagers built a cannon from a log. Only it exploded and wiped them out. Now there's some medieval workmanship. For the sake of authenticity, they tried to make the cannon using traditional techniques. That's a ticket. They thought about drilling the barrel with an old-fashioned spoon drill. Based on what I'm seeing here now, I'm, I'm thinking it'd probably take a couple of days to get through it. I'm not doing anything that the Pakish wouldn't have done if they had had a chainsaw. Jamie, though, wanted to keep something authentic and handcrafted a near-perfect granite cannonball. It's so far beyond anybody's experience that we're all, like, kind of blown away. Right. And don't think he didn't know it. Oh. <laughs> Woo. That is a tree cannon. Pyrotechnician Jack Morocco came up with a modern version of medieval gunpowder. There you go. Nicely done. I think that's very respectable. And so, armed and dangerous, they found themselves at an abandoned naval base. Tennis ball? Okay. The first attempt, a test run with a tennis ball. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hot set. Ooh. Wow, it's That's still going. Cute. Is that a flaming tennis ball? I don't think so. Next up, the real deal. Jamie's handmade granite cannonball. Would it shoot or would the cannon explode? Are we ready, Jack? Fire in the hole. I don't have a clue where that went. <laughs> I didn't see a darn thing. Did you see anything? I'm a little bummed out not to find the ball, you know. It was I put a lot of work into that thing. Jamie was apparently so upset at losing his cannonball, he felt obliged to sabotage the next test. You have one other thing you want to add to this, Jamie? I want to see this thing blow up. You know, it's uh keeps working. <laughs> what are you going to do? So I'm going to jam a can of soda down this. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's uh, squirted out of the hole. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lot of soda. Oh, yeah, it's definitely been contaminated by the powder. Never once to dwell on a minor setback, the Mythbusters called in more gunpowder. Well, we put six ounces of powder in last time. What are we going to put in this time? Five pounds. Whoa! And just in case that wasn't dangerous enough, the final nail in this cannon's coffin... If this doesn't blow up this cannon, I don't know what will. This is a, basically going to be a bomb and there's going to be splinters going everywhere. So, what does happen when you seal up a tree cannon with five pounds of gunpowder inside? Myth undeniably proved a tree cannon can explode. Everybody all right? And they, like, the heaviest parts go farther than the fence. Cannon went away. <laughs> There's a little black on the ground around where the cannon was, and that's all that's left. My God. 